hello friends welcome back to code tonight in today's video we will see a error in entity framework that we often get so the error you can see on the screen no mapping specified for properties employee tbt dot json data in set employee tbt do uh, an entity with the key will not round trip when entity is type and this is given okay so uh, this error is basically um, you can have a look at the error so it is saying that it is a uh, it could not find any mapping for uh, this property okay so um, the main reason why you will get this error because whatever property mentioned in the error is either not available in the model or in the database okay so here it is talking about json data now we will go and check uh, where is the issue so uh, you can open up your admx file and you can open up the table which is mentioned in the error so uh, here you will notice that we have the property json data so and the property is available here so issue is not on this side now what you have to do is you have to go to the database and in the database you will open the same table okay and there you have to check if we have the same property available or not so you can see that this is employee tbt table that we have seen in the error now here you will notice that there is no column with the name json data here so uh, that's why uh, entity framework is not able to map that property with the database okay so the solution can be you can remove the property from the entity framework or you can just add the column here so in both the cases that will work fine so here i am adding this column here and now we will just go to admx file and refresh the model so here it already had one property and then we added it again so here it become two properties so what you can do is you can right click and then delete from model okay and you can also delete the other one also and now you can just update model from database again So we can actually see that uh, the property is still not added, added here even after refresh. So what you can do is you can right click on the model uh, and we can just press the delete button. Okay. And then it will delete this item. So you have to say yes here. Now we will go on update model from database and in the add you will see the same table again. So you can select that and click on finish so what it will do is now it will uh, re-add the um, model um, from the beginning okay so earlier we were trying to refresh the property the which was newly created but now what we are doing is we are uh, again adding the table so this time it will obviously pick up the new column also so uh, adding or refreshing uh, the admx can take some seconds okay so now you can see that we have got our property json data here so now you have to save it and then we have to rebuild the application
so it has saved and now we will just rebuild the solution and now we will just run the application again to see if this time we still face that error or not so uh, we already have debugger here so the code will come here and then we will see if we still face the same error So uh, we can see the debugger now and we will go inside that. So there is this is a place where we were facing the error earlier. Now we will try to run the application and you can see that this time it has uh, successfully worked and it has got the data from the database. So uh, this is how you can solve the mapping error for the missing property in entity framework and in ASP.NET. If you still face any kind of issue with your entity framework, then you can comment on the video. So uh, thanks for watching guys.